Caught them boys on that one street, I swear we did some damage. Jump out the back of this phone, don't be ARP, start blaming. I the last 23 days, nearly 30 people have been killed in homicides, and the month isn't over yet. As of August 22nd, there have been 29 homicides in St. Louis. Records show about a half dozen happened on the city's south side. A majority of the crimes occurred on the north side. Police say in many cases, the victims and criminals knew each other. What's up, Jabo here, and today we have a new video, and for this one, we are talking about a Crip St. Louis rapper who goes by CTS Lil Wick, who caught a man in traffic while riding his motorcycle. On August 26, 2022, around 2.15 p.m., St. Louis police responded to reports about a shooting in the 4800 block of Nebraska Avenue. When police arrived on the scene, they discovered a wrecked white Jeep and a man injured. He was pronounced dead at the scene. He was identified as 42-year-old Joseph Shaw. According to reports at the time of the shooting, people in the area reportedly heard around 30 shots after two individuals had a shootout. One person had a white four-door Jeep and another had a motorcycle. Two guns were involved, according to a police report. It's unclear if 30 shots have been confirmed by police other than a Facebook post about the shooting reported at the time. On October 11th, 2022, weeks after the shooting, a man was arrested and charged. He was identified as 18-year-old Michael Henderson, more commonly known as CTS Low Wick. According to police surveillance video, it shows one person riding a motorcycle and another driving a white Jeep SUV side by side on that afternoon. Lil Wick pulled ahead, then extended his left arm behind him and shot Joseph, hitting him in the forehead and killing him instantly. CTS Lil Wick lost control of his motorcycle and ran from the scene while Joseph's Jeep spun off the road. Police then tracked the owner of the motorcycle and eventually found CTS Lil Wick's name and phone number. His cell phone data showed he was in the area at the time of the shooting. At this time, he is currently in jail and is held on no bond on a first degree murder charge and armed criminal action. In July 21st, 2022, a video was uploaded to YouTube by popular vlogger Tommy G titled, Visiting the Most Dangerous City in America. Tommy has uploaded many videos about different cities and rough neighborhoods. The video currently has over 1.6 million views at the time. In the video, CTS Lil Way can be seen along with other individuals as they flaunt guns and more. Another sad case, an 18 year old behind bars, we are seeing this way too often when it comes to young individuals who are barely living their life, already throwing their life away so young. At this time, it's unclear if these two individuals knew each other, but according to surveillance video police have seen, CTS Lil Wick struck the man killing him and he crashed and Lil Wick fled the scene. And that is it for this video, leave a comment, let me know what y'all think, but yeah, I'm out.